So now we will see input type reset in HTML form. So guys, basically the input tag along with the type value as reset will define a reset button that will reset all the form values to their default values. So guys, let's say for example, you have multiple text fields in a particular form and then when the user tries to enter some data and wants to reset all the data that is clear the data, in such cases it would be very helpful in order to provide a button that will help the user to reset all the data and this input tag with the type reset will help us to do the same. So let us check this with the help of examples in VS code. So guys, previous Previously we had seen that we had provided the username text field along with that we had also provided the password text fields along with their labels and then we had also provided the submit button. We had provided the value that is user by default to the username text field. So let me show you how it looks on the browser. So this is the content of the previous code that we had written. So we have a normal username and then we have the password and then we have the submit button in which case we can simply provide the username over here and we can also provide the password which will not be displayed to the user or any other person who is seeing your screen and then we have the submit button. Now guys let's say the user wants to clear all this data. What we can do is simply we can have the input tag along with the type value which is reset over here. So guys let me just define that as well. So we provide input followed by colon and then we have something called as reset over here. Guys this is the emit abbreviation that we can use in the VS code over here. As you can see input type reset will be auto generated when we type this. So if you are working on any other text editor such as notepad or notepad plus plus you need to manually type all these characters over here as you can see inside the tag we have the type attribute and the other attributes as well. But if you are working with the VS code you can make use of this emit abbreviation over here. So we click on this particular option as you can see this is the tag that is input followed by type attribute and then we have the reset value as the type. Now guys we can also have the value on this button to be set. So either we can say reset or we can simply say clear over here. So basically this is the text that will be displayed on the button in this case. So let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser. So as you can see we have got the clear button over here. Now guys let's say I want to increase some spacing in between the submit and the clear button. So what we can do is after this input of type submit button in this case we can have ampersand and then non breaking space that is NBSP. So guys basically this is helpful when you want to add certain space characters in between the HTML elements and to avoid them to break into multiple lines. So over here when we select this non breaking space let me just save this file now and after reloading this page you will be noticing that the space between the submit and the clear button will increase over here. So when we reload this as you can see the space got increased in this case and based on how many space characters you want you can provide the non breaking space characters over here after the submit button. Now guys what happens when we click on the clear button. So for now there is no data in the username and the password fields and that is why we are not seeing any results over here but when we provide certain data so let's say we provide username and let's say we provide some test password over here and then either we can click on submit but let's say if we have provided some incorrect data over here in multiple fields inside the form so simply we can click on clear over here so when we click on clear as you can see all the text boxes are cleared now and they will be having their default values if they have any so over here basically we have the user value as the default value inside the username that is why we are getting that value but if we remove this value that is user from here then that content will be also removed so let me just refresh this page once again over here and when we provide the data once again that is username in this case and then let's say we provide password over here and then when we click on this clear button as you can see the text fields got cleared and that is the main functionality of this reset value for the type attribute inside the input tag. So guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is input type radio button in HTML form. So stay tuned.